Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing object oriented programming in Python. In the previous video, we have seen like what is in class, what is an object, how to create a class, how to create an object, why do we need classes, this thing we have discussed, right. But we haven't like we have created our own class, but we haven't added any attributes or methods in that class. So that thing we'll be discussing in this video how to add attributes, what is that init method, underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, and in bracket, uh, a self keyword is passed as a parameter, right. So what is that method? What is basically the funda of constructor, right? How to initialize objects while creating those objects of a class. So these things we'll be discussing in this video, right? But before that, just want to tell you something. It is especially important for gate and ASC aspirants. An academy is back with combat and this time it is ultra combat. Yes, you heard it right. Now you have a chance to get up to 90% scholarship and many rewards such as MacBook, Dell laptop, Samsung mobile and many more. And this ultra combat for gate and ESC aspirants would be on, would be conducted on 23rd of July and the timing is 11 a.m. And what, how many questions you will get? The pattern is 40 MCQs you will get and the time limit would be 120 minutes, right? And what is the syllabus? The syllabus will be general aptitude, uh, engineering mathematics and technical. And the most important thing is you can enroll for this ultra combat for free. You don't need to pay anything, no registration fee, nothing, no charges, right? So the link for you know, registration to enroll in this ultra combat would be in the description box of this video for all the branches, mechanical, civil, CS, electrical, right? And you can use my code JKL10 to enroll for free in this combat, right? So all the relevant links and information you will find in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Okay, now let's see. This was the class we have created in the previous lecture, the class instructor, and we have done nothing here, no attribute, nothing else, just pass, and we have created one object. And if you find out the type of this object, then it will give you instructor, right? Just forget about this underscore underscore main underscore underscore. That also will, I'll tell you in later videos. So the class has this instructor. So class means basically it's a user defined data type that acts as a blueprint to create object. Okay, now how to add attributes? See, if in instructor, obviously the instructor is having some name or ID or information, the many information. So one way is instructor one, instructor one dot name, I'm assigning like maybe pile, right? You cannot simply write down here just name is equal to pile. That would be simple a variable, but now this name is an attribute of this instructor this instructor is an object. That is why we are writing instructor dot name. This name is now attached with this instructor, with this object, right? So that is why this is now attribute. One more thing, if you want to check like instructor dot address is equal to Delhi, right? And if you want to fetch, if you want to print this information, then how you can print simply, we cannot write down like print name. Let's run this and what? see what you will get. Name is not defined because name is, its name is what? Instructor one dot name. It's not just simply name, a variable. No, it's now an attribute of this object. So you must write here instructor one dot name. This is the syntax, right? If you assign value to an object like this and if you want to fetch the value, so instructor one dot name, this time it will give pi, right? Like this, if like I have a YouTube channel, I want to hire now 10 instructors to teach different, different subject. And like the attribute of this instructor, these instructor would be many attribute I want to store like name, address, and like maybe ID and uh, phone number, has camera, has laptop, has books. These are simple attributes. So for one instructor, I want to store every information. So same you can instructor one dot name this, instructor one dot address, instructor one dot ID, instructor one dot phone number, instructor one dot has camera and like this, you can write down these nine. And like this, if I want to create one more instructor. So in that case, what will happen? Instructor two is equal to this same method, 
now instructor two dot name and instructor two dot address and if i want to print instructor two dot name that is also fine it will print pile and okay there is some error here like this so it will give let's just rename this otherwise it will give same name so like jenny so it will give pile and jenny like two name like this if you want to store information of 10 instructor then definitely it is not easy because we are it's so hectic so many number of lines right and maybe like name here i'm writing name here i'm writing username or here i'm writing address or simply instructor address maybe i can write here instructor address so the name of these attributes would be maybe different for each object for each object for each instructor right so it would be not easy to manage the information like this right and definitely now what is the use of class if we are writing this kind of thing that we can do with the help of simple variables we can create different variables for each instructor or for each thing right now for this okay now class comes into picture now here we have for this thing we use the you can say the concept of constructor if you are from c++ background if then you must have heard about constructor right if not it's okay i'll tell you here so basically the task of a constructor is to initialize the data members to assign values to the data members of a class when an object is created so constructor will basically allow us to specify what would happen when we create this object when we create an object what would happen with the help of constructor we can do the thing we can initialize the attributes the members of the class while creating we don't have to write down like instructor one dot name one dot address and we have to initialize separately no right so here we have a special fun function that is def and this init function so see it is not just a simple function because it is special one because it is having underscore underscore in it underscore underscore then in bracket also we have like cell it's automatically i haven't written c cell for like this if you write down this thing simply i n i then c you will got this thing self it's predefined predefined right so it's a special method and python interpreter know it is a special method and what it will do python interpreter python interpreter know knows about this method very well right now self is a keyword why we are passing this self that also i'll tell you so in c++ we are having constructor to initialize object in python we are having this method init method to initialize the object to initialize the data members of a class while creating an object right so same as constructor it is doing the same task okay now see and one more thing this init function would be called every time you create an object right so see if you want to check out this thing you can write down something like this print creating a new object i'm not writing anything i'm just printing here creating a new object and let's run this see first creating a new object because here we are creating an object so creating a new object then pile it will print pile right then again creating a new object and jenny it will print so two time this this would be printed so two time you have called this init function right this function has been called so this one object we have created another object we have created so every time you create an object of a class this init function would be called every time right and it is used to like initialize the attributes of that particular object right so the self is indicating it is referring the actual object on which right now we are calling this function on which this function has been called right now so if this function has been called right now on this object instructor 1 so the self is instructor 1 if next time this init function has been called during this line instructor 2 is equal to instructor so now at this point of time this self is instructor 2 so it is referring to the actual object right so when we are calling 
this then it will initialize the instructor one object attribute this time at this point of time it will initialize instructor two object attribute so i hope now you got why we are using this self keyword here right if you are still not getting it's okay we'll do some practice here so i want to like pass name and address so like two parameter we can pass name and address any name you can take right and let's just remove this line right now how to initialize the attribute of the instructor only two attribute i'm taking name and address that's it so you have to write down the self keyword self dot the name of the attribute what you want the name of the attribute so i want name is equal to this is not compulsory that this name this parameter name and this should be same it may be different right so the self name is equal to whatever argument you will pass and that we will fetch here in this parameter name name so you have to write down here this name right see the color this name and this name is having same color but this name is having different color so here the attribute name you can take anything so i can take here like instructor underscore name that is also fine instructor underscore address but i am taking here name that's it so self dot second attribute name i am taking just address is equal to this address let's just take here let's rename this instructor underscore name the parameter name so here you need to pass instructor underscore name now you got the difference this parameter name and this name should be same and this attribute name you can take any name right it should not be same with this parameter name right okay now you don't need to assign the value initialize the object attribute like this what we can do just remove these two lines and while creating the object obviously this init function would be called so now it is expecting to pass these two parameter name and address so here only i can pass like jenny and in address i am passing like maybe gurugram right and let's just comment out these lines for instructor 2 and let's just print instructor 1 dot name let's run this and it will print the name see jenny right so obviously it will reduce the number of lines of code right now for instructor 2 same so instructor 2 and instructor see now if i don't pass anything here and let's run this so you are getting an error see in line number 10 in line number 10 in this line in this line while you are creating this object then this in it missing two required positional argument instructor name and address right so obviously this function would be called init method would be called while you are creating the object and you need to pass these two parameter not three maybe you think self is also there but self is just a keyword to bind the actual object with the values right so by default self at this time would be instructor 2 and by default self at this time would be instructor 1 so you don't need to pass the value for self it is just a keyword right so self is like basically just a keyword to bind it will bind the objects attributes to the argument received right obviously now you need to pass two argument here so i'm passing like pile and address is like delhi now this is fine you will not get any error now you can fetch this information right like this if you want to create 10 instructor then definitely now it would be easy and less number of less lines of code right so this is the use of the class and this init method i think it is clear to you guys what is this init what is the self and all right now if you want to pass like by default let's take one example uh, i want to pass the instagram follower of each instructor maybe the instructor are not on instagram 
right most of the teachers are not on instagram so they are having 000 followers right so that information is not mandatory right obviously everyone is having name everyone is having some specific address so that for sure but it's not compulsory that everyone is on instagram and having some follower count right so if i pass here this is the case if i pass here like instagram underscore if i pass a parameter instagram underscore follower so maybe jenny is not like on instagram so you need to pass here zero and for pile also maybe you need to pass zero so maybe 10 instructor for every instructor the count is zero so why you are passing zero zero it's just a waste of you can say time and there is no, no logic to pass zero 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 so what we can what we can do rather than making this and compulsory argument to pass we can set default value of this parameter self dot followers is equal to zero and now see it's not like that if i am on instagram and i have some followers so right now every object will be having zero follower of this class all the objects right but we can modify this this attribute specifically for any object like for jenny if i want to modify then we, i can modify that is also fine that also we'll see right but for now you have to be clear this thing like you can pass default value also for any attribute now for every if i want to print like print and instructor one dot followers now it will print zero see jenny and zero because by default the follower count for each object of this class would be zero because we have set a default value right now i hope you got the idea like how to add attributes how to initialize the attributes of an object what is the uh, you know use of this init function what is this self keyword like this so now one assignment for you is okay this is the class and all now you have to create two more instructor right passing the name and address and you have to print the information name as well as address for each instructor for the two instructor right so now that's it for this video in the next video we'll see how to add methods these are just attributes we haven't added still methods what the instructor will do we have just added what he or she has not what he or she does right so that thing we'll see in the next video so thanks in the next video learn bye bye take care